The fear I felt for this is in a league of its own, she admits. It was a feeling of dread. The two nights before the first live show I couldn't sleep. I was terrified. I have been scared before, Margaret Thatcher was a huge one, and then I presented Central Weekend, which was a big, live debate show, which I always wanted to do. I was nervous and I can remember pacing up and down beforehand, but those things are in my line of work, whereas Strictly Come Dancing is completely outside my expertise. I've never regretted it, it's an incredible opportunity and it's a great joy to be surrounded by really talented people who love what they do, but when you are in that moment on the dance floor it's incredibly exposing. You're going to stand there and be judged on how you look, how you move and how you come across, it's a bit like a Roman circus. Despite her fears, Kay and partner Kai Widrington danced a sultry tango that turned them 21 points on the leaderboard, including a surprise six from notoriously difficult to please judge Craig Revel Horwood. Before the show, Kay, 59, was dreading Strictly's sexier dances and being given the tango as her opening routine did not help. I was waiting on stage, standing in my dress with my fake drink thinking, oh my god, this looks like grab a granny night. She laughs. But my worries don't stop me going out. I'm a confident person and I'm not looking to seduce anyone, it's not really a set of skills that I need at this point in my life. It's left to Kay's partner, Kay, to ease the dance out of his nervous partner. He says, she was absolutely petrified, but you have to remember that Kay has never danced in her life and she was about to do something in front of 10 million people, so I understand the nerves. It took a lot of courage, so for me it's a case of building up her confidence and making her believe that she can do it. And she's so determined, I don't think I've seen this level of perseverance from anyone I've taught before. We're supposed to start training at 10 a.m. and she gets there at 9 a.m. to get in an hour's practice before I arrive. Even though she puts herself down in a humorous way, she really does try hard. This week Kay and Kai are dancing at Charleston. But while it's Kay's favorite dance, the training has been even tougher and on Thursday evening she noticed a bruising on her ribs during a challenging lift and headed to the Strictly Physio. Meanwhile her right shoulder and right leg have both had to be strapped this week. Kay says, I felt pain doing a lift and was sent to see the physio. Apparently, I've strained my intercostal muscle. I'm wearing tape across my ribs because I think it looks really cool, I don't think it's actually doing anything, I just quite like to think of myself as an athlete. The pair are hoping that the injury won't affect their performance on the night. Kai promises, we're throwing everything at it. There are lifts, she'll be thrown around the room and she's smacking my bum, expect nothing short of Cirque du Soleil meets Strictly Come Dancing. It will be the wow moment of the evening. Calm and cheerful and with a self-deprecating sense of humor, Kay has been a popular presenter on our screens for decades. She's been a panelist on Have I Got News For You, took part in both Celebrity Mastership and Celebrity Mastermind and recently launched her own podcast How To Be 60, where she interviews a host of celebrity guests on their attitudes to aging. But it is Loose Women, the show she joined at its launch in 1999, for which she is best known. I absolutely love loose women and I'll stay as long as they'll have me, she says. I've been there 22 years. If I didn't like it, I'd have walked away years ago, but it's part of who I am. 
Dance isn't part of who Kay is however and by her own admission she's barely set foot on a dance floor since she was five, when a dance teacher branded her kipper feet and asked Kay's mum to remove her from the class. She credits partner Kai with having instilled her with the confidence to try again. He's even tempered, good humored, patient, professional and a brilliant dancer. I really couldn't have wished for a better partner, she says. He does push me, he's not a soft touch, but he's never lost his temper, I do not know why. Maybe he does, maybe he goes to the bathroom and thumps his head against the wall, but he certainly doesn't let it show. Kay lives in Glasgow with her tennis coach partner Ian and their two daughters, Charlie, 20, and Bonnie, 16, but she reveals they won't be in the Strictly Studio audience watching her this weekend. They're too busy to come. She laughs. Ian's got a tennis final, Bonnie's got a party and Charlie is at university. We're really close and they're very supportive and enthusiastic, but they're not showbiz kids. Bonnie is at school, she's studying for her exams and like every other teenager she's more concerned about what party is on at the weekend. But they watched it on TV and they were impressed. They were prepared for the worst and girding their loins dash oh my god, what are we going to say to her if it's a disaster? So I think they were pleasantly surprised and thought dash that wasn't as bad as it could have been. When her Strictly journey ends, Gay is planning to devote more time to her podcast and perhaps try any other new challenges that come her way. She explains, my podcast How To Be 60 is the first thing I've done where I've taken ownership and that's a nice feeling. It's very much me. With television and radio, you've got management and all sorts of different people who have an opinion on what should and shouldn't go in the show, so it's nice to do something that I take control over. Apart from that, my main ambition at this age is very much not to get stuck. I don't want to be one of those people who do what they do because they've always done it. I want to keep changing. I want to do new things, I want to keep learning new things, I want to keep meeting new people and I want to stay interested in life. Meanwhile however far she goes in strictly she says the experience has changed her for the better. All those years I spent not dancing at weddings and parties and just standing at the bar saying, I can't dance dash it was a waste, she reflects. Because whether I could or couldn't dance, I should have just got up there and enjoyed it, like everybody else. I now realize that. So will Kay now be the first to hit the dance floor whenever she gets the chance? Oh no, because everyone will expect me to do the bloody tango, won't they? She laughs. Can you imagine the reaction I'd get to that at a Glasgow wedding? Strictly Come Dancing is on BBC One tonight at 6. 30 p.m. K. Adams, How To Be 60 is available on all good podcast players, including Apple and Spotify.